Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at a huge fifth wheel that has a bunkhouse and two full bathrooms. This is the 2020 Keystone Avalanche model 396BH. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then I'm gonna give you three things I love about this fifth wheel and three things I dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews, Tovals, the world's only channel that gives you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to fifth wheels, toy haulers, and travel trailers. And today, I'm super excited. We're taking a look at the all new 2020 Keystone Avalanche. This is amazing, great, full profile fifth wheel that can sleep the whole family. Great, so before we begin, I wanna say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea. Hey, everybody. How are you? I'm doing good. Are you getting tired? I am tired, guys. We were on a roll today. Oh, yeah. Trying to make a bunch of videos. We're cranking them out for you guys. Yes because we don't know if we have a job tomorrow. Exactly. No, I'm just kidding, we have a job tomorrow. But we don't know when things are shutting down here, so we're just trying to get a big video log library so we can make a video every single day. Let's get started. Model is 396BH, but the actual tip to tip length, it's the bumper, is 41 feet 11 inches. Actually, it's 41 feet six inches, I'm sorry. The dry weight on this travel trailer is 13,880 pounds. And Andrea, what's the cargo carrying capacity? 2,560. That's a lot of cargo. Also, just so everybody knows, the pin weight, the hitch weight, is 2,715 pounds. So you want to make sure that your truck not only supports the dry weight, but the uh, payload in the bed of your truck as well. But let's get started. This, this is a Keystone Avalanche, it's not their top line, the Alpine is, but this is still a full profile fifth wheel with a lot of high end features. And what I love about Keystone, they use a painted fiberglass front cap. I absolutely love that, automotive great paint. Right here you have nice marker lights that are light up at night. And this is Hitch Vision, so when you're backing up your older trucks, you can use this nice. to see the back to where you're hooking up the fifth wheel. Coming down here, Oh, look at that. Plenty of space. Great. Now this is not prepped for a um, generator, For a generator, but you could easily throw like a little Honda 2 or 3000 in there and you would have no problems. You'd be A-OK. -okay. Coming down here, this is where you put one of your propane tanks. No, this is where you put your batteries. You have your hydraulic leveling, six point hydraulic leveling and uh, hydraulic slide outs on this motorhome. And then your propane is going to be on the other side. Also right here, you do have your uh, solar right there. Also, look at this nice gel coat. You see that reflection, Andrea? Yeah, it looks nice. Yeah, that's a, that's a high something gel coat exterior. Very nice. You have your frameless windows throughout the whole motorhome. And check this out. Oh, I love this. Not one, but two power awnings with LED lights. I love that. Oh, this. gosh, that's great. Now, listen, folks, this is not the bunk house I'm talking about. This is just your exterior storage. Wow. This motorhome has all the bells and whistles. Look at this. I love these solid steps by LG. It's some of my favorite features about all these towable units. And because it's an avalanche, it does have the polar package. It's a four seasons travel trailer, heated and enclosed underbelly, all that good stuff. And because it's Keystone, you get the one year tip to tip, three year structural warranty. Coming down the side here, look at these nice tires. Oh man, those are G-rated tires. Oh, look Woo! at those rims. Look at them rims. Oh yeah. The tires are uh, ST235-80R 16 inch tires. Good for high speed. And then look at that Road Armor uh, suspension right there by Lipper Component. And you got a spare tire under there. Coming down the side here. We do have, look, I love this. Nice. Nice outdoor kitchen entertainment center. With stereo. Yeah, very awesome. Very cool and awesome. I love that. I love the drawers here, right? Look at the little fridge. 
Nice. Bridge right here, very nice. And I believe there's a quick connect. Yeah, there should be an LP quick I connect I thought I somewhere. just seen it. Oh, yeah. You see it's, it? Yeah, it's like under there. Okay. And I love how it has the TV on the outside already. Coming around the back. but you do have a receiver hitch. I don't know how much that supports, probably 3,000 pounds. I'll have that and all the other specifications about this down in the description below. 50 amp power cord, that's where you hook it up. Look at this, Andrea. This has a door to the second bathroom. Wow. So if people are camping and barbecuing and they have to use the bathroom, they have a door straight to it. Also prep for a Furion backup camera. Did you know, Andrea, we sell backup cameras down in the description below. We have a link to Amazon for you to get a Furion backup camera. Also, this has a uh, one-piece TPO roof with a ladder. Uh -oh. Let's go up there and take a look. Hold on. Here we go now. Oh. Great, up here on the roof, you can see that it's a fully walkable one-piece TPO roof. You have not one, but two air conditioning units. I love that. Right up there is a WineGuard digital antenna. And yeah, you have one, two, three, four huge slide outs fully walkable slide outs as well i love that yeah please hold on it looks higher than normal We're all good slow down matt great and if you haven't already make sure you smash that thumbs up button one of the rv sales is going to take his fat ass up on the roof show you what features the roof has to offer nobody nobody and Andrea, look at this. Oh, wow. Look at all these stickers. General, General, Keystone, but check that out. That's an official Matt's RV review sticker that we are now selling on our website. So if you want to swag out your motorhome with some nice spinning rims or with a sticker, go on mattsrvreviews.com, buy yourself a sticker. It helps support the channel and it makes your motorhome look awesome. Thanks, guys. We really appreciate your support. Great. Let's finish up with the outside. Coming down here. You got gray tank, black tank here. Oh, is that where it is? Yep. Okay. Cool. Wheel separation. Oh, check this out. There's where you put your stinky slinky. Oh. And then look, there's also another tank dump station right there. Okay. 10 gallon DSI water heater. Oh, look at this wet bag. Oh, I do love that. Oh, that's beautiful. That's very nice. You went over the DSI? Yep. And let me just show this for the stinky slinky. Look. Very cool. And then this is the other side of your pasture storage. And then this. For propane? Yep. Yep. Here's your propane tanks. Great. Well. Potable water there? Uh, no, that, that's your auto leveling. Oh, okay. Yep. Well, the outside of this fifth Portable. wheel looks great but it looks even better on the inside. Let's go take a look. All right, Skippy, slow down. Here we go. Very nice. Very nice. Oh. Very nice. Beautiful. Just do a quick through, show the bedroom up there first. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. nice shower for the back wow look limitations this is the uh, first time it's the first time i've almost been too high for a shower small shower back here because it's the kids bathroom uh look look at that sink over there and everything here's the door it leaves it yep. outside and then you have this nice cabinet good size another one over here you got wow. the sink and then That's you got funny. two big cabinets That's underneath funny. Very nice. All right, so let's check out this look at this. Is it Even with this, look, look at this, Andrea. Even with this in the way, this is a prime pooping position. Is it porcelain? It's in my face. 
Oh yeah, it's porcelain. Nice. Look, this even though it's in my face, <laughs> I mean, it's still great. It's a great position. This is one, you know, you know I love these fifth wheels. I mean, if you don't have a pride pooping position and a fifth wheel, you have a problem. And it's got a pocket door, so. Yeah, I love that. Cool. Oh, okay. uh, don't get Show stuck. everybody the uh, bedroom area back here. Okay, so here we have the bunk room. Oh, snap. Extra bedroom. Actually, I'm showing this this room. Oh, okay. No, I... oh. Oh, it goes on that thing up there. Oh, okay. See? There you go. Hold on now. Here we're going now. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't lay up there. Just show it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Here we go. I guess he wants me to climb up on the ladder. No, no, now. no. Just show it. I don't know how I'm not that Yeah, tall. no, you're showing it. Can Look you guys at this. see? Yep. Now there's a little bed over here. Yep. With uh, Yep. Let me see this. Yeah, there you go. Yep. You got your storage up here. Very nice. You got a place for a TV right there. Hello. Guys, I'm going to put the ladder up and keep them up there. Don't do that. <laughs> and nice window space. Andrea. All right. Kiss me, Mom. Just take your time. Down's always easier than up. Turn around. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, man. Matthew. Oh, Matthew. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, just hold you on. You see that, y'all? You know what that is? I'm a freaking athlete. <laughs> I'm fathletic. Okay. Hashtag fathletic. If you a little overweight, but you can still kick it, oh, hashtag it fathletic. You're such a mess. All right, you show the rest. Okay, so I'm going to start over here. Here we have a nice window. Yep. You got blinds. And guys, this is the tri-fold sofa. I love that. We love it. It gives you... Got, I yep. <laughs> it gives you extra room. And these are actually pretty comfortable. Oh, yeah. I remember my days doing this actually all day. Oh, yeah. Very nice. And it makes it so an adult can sleep back here. Yes. It's not this hard. It's just I have not eaten lunch yet, guys. <laughs> Been cranking out videos. We've been making videos for y'all. Very look, nice. Totally comfortable. And it just gives you that, you know, more space if you have adult guests or something. Yep. And they have access to a full bathroom. Very nice. I got it. You're the best. And then you put these back up. Very, very easy. You're the best, Andrea. I try. <laughs> Alright, right. and then across you have all this entertainment center and storage. Nice cabinets. Yep. Yeah. Prep for a TV. Yep. As you can see, you got your connections. Three drawers here. Very nice. And a little wardrobe closet. Very nice. With shelves. All right. Let's show the living area. Oh, and there is a door to shut them kids up. <laughs> okay. So do you want to start over here? Look at this. Yeah. So Huge. show. Yeah. Show all that. Okay. So it looks like we got here two. Two, two recliners. recliners. Yep. Cup holders. Uh huh. Oh, I'm going to rest here for a minute. Very nice. <laughs> Long sofa. I love it because it is directly across from the TV and yes. entertainment. Over here, you have... Now check this out. This is a jackknife sofa, but it also does something weird. You can set this up. Like that. Flip it like that. Flip it and reverse it. So Ugh. that's your little dinette. Yep. And you know what? I so much prefer this, Andrea, because you know when we go camping, we're either doing one of two things. We're either going out to dinner or we're eating outside. Yeah, it's so true. So this is like a plan C if you don't feel like going out to dinner and, you, and it's crappy weather outside. And I actually really like that. Check out the windows. Very nice. Lots of windows. Like it. And that does jackknife? Yep. Okay, and then across from the sofas and recliner, we have the humongous TV. Very nice. Check out the humongous TV. I love it. Got nice cabinets up here. Uh-huh. Underneath, you got the your radio, yep. DVD speakers, and a cute little fireplace. Very cool. Which I'm a big fan of. I love the slide. Like, yep. It has no carpet on it. Look at this island. Very nice, solid, solid surface. surface island. 
Oh, this steak is humongous. Oh, look, I love the bigness in it. <laughs> the, the well, bigness. no, the, the bigness on that side. You <laughs> know what I'm saying. I'm a fan of these. Very nice. And then we have four drawers there. Four drawers. Nice handles. Yep. Blue Very nice. Got a oh double trash can. Two trash cans. Buy one, get one free. <laughs> and another big cabinet under here. Nice. I like it. Across from the island, we have the microwave and more cabinets up here. Oh yeah. You can never have enough. Beautiful. We have a nice size microwave. Very good. And then you got a three burner cooktop. Yep. And a glass cover. Look at Backsplash. That's very interesting. Andrea. Do you see this? Is that Backsplash Art Deco? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's not Art Deco. Okay, underneath we have an oven. And look at this drawer. That's interesting. I nice. like how they... Yeah, just kind of make the yeah. oven metal look, look good. Very good. Solid service countertop. Love it. Yep. Got another cabinet over here. Can't live without and, it. Oh, look at this refrigerator. Love that fridge. That's Samsung. a Samsung. Oh, man. Look Whoa, at that. beautiful. Look at the shelf up here. Yep. Oh, look at this freezer. Very nice. Love the freezer. Very nice. And then, oh my goodness, look at this. That's so nice. Yep, yep. And let me touch on these light fixtures. I love light fixtures like this. They're adorable. Very nice. Very cute. Here we have the pantry. Uh huh. Look at that. Yep. And it lights up when you open the door. Yep. Very cute. Over here, more cabinets. This is cute, this window frosted look. I love how tall the ceilings are yeah, as well. Definitely. You got a shelf, got more of this interesting backsplash. Got four drawers here. That's this is amazing. And you know what? There's a fuse box. This seems I know it's more like a mid-level. But it seems like it's a higher end. Well, I mean, it's very, it, 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 it's, it's not, it's not an Alpine, it is an Avalanche, but it still has a lot of high end features. Um, and trust me, you'll see it in the price. Huh. It's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this fifth wheel is... $90,000. Wow. $682 MSRP. Sale price, as you guys can see right here, we don't advertise sale price on our website for some reason, but I did some snooping around on RV <laughs> Trader, and it looks like everybody's selling this for around 67.9 sale price, mm -hmm. but trust me, I can get you a lot better price than that. Andrea, tell them how to do it. You can call, you can text, you can email, or you can FaceTime. Hey, it's me, 0190609620, or MattsRVReviews at gmail.com. Or just visit my website, mattsrvreviews.com, and uh, contact me if you're interested in buying this fifth wheel. Andrea, let's continue the video. Hey, I want to point out, guys, look at that ceiling fan. Oh! I love ceiling fans. Great point. I didn't even see that. Yeah. And also, you have a little fan up there for when you're cooking to get ventilation. Yep. So, yeah, I'm a big fan of ceiling fans. All right. Let's continue on. Oh, look my at the steps. God little handrail there's your panel then this is hidden there yep, yep there you okay. go okay window here across from the bathroom yep look at this shower in here oh it has a seat i'm in love with the shower look at that look at this is a one piece fiberglass shower sky dome fully molded look at this you got a seat here you got the glass door. Man, I love this. I like that shower a lot. This is so it nice. Looks nice. Check out that. Okay, so we have a, a really nice medicine cabinet. And then we have the sink. And then we have a cabinet underneath with a shelf. Nice. Very cute. And then check out you got two smaller cabinets here. Oh yeah. Very cute. Very nice. Very cute. I like the flooring in here. It looks nice. Now, Matt's going to do his toilet test. It's time for the toilet test. Oh, it? catty corner. Man, look at this. The prime, prime pooping position, P4, comfortable, nice. I'm wiping twice. Hey, <laughs> I mean, it just feels so good. It's like, this is a bathroom. This is a full-time fifth wheel for sure. And this sure. has got the four piece for it's sure. It's got the four piece. It's a bathroom I'm comfortable with. You know, I want to eat. I want to get fat. I want to camp. I want to drink. And that makes me have to poop. And I like to poop in comfortable, comfortability. 
Because this is a nice pooping position. What do you say? I think what it's... What say you? I say it's great. What say you, rabbit? She only <laughs> eats rabbit food. That's why we call her a rabbit. Cool. Let's continue. Show everybody this bedroom. All right, so... Look how there's a door yes, that way. Yes, a pocket door leading into the bedroom. All right, check this out. We got a king-size bed. Very nice. See if there's storage. Oh, there is storage over yep. here. Look at that. Yep. Okay, so interesting, interesting headboard there. Very different. Very different. I'm a fan. I like these balances. Uh -huh. I like the colors in here. Very yep. cute. Windows on both sides. Yep. Uh, you got a little teeny tiny, maybe a little table here. Some yep. Tiny nightstand with shelves underneath. Across. Oh snap! Whisper quiet air conditioning oh, units. Oh, love it. Yep. Now here it's prepped. You can mount a TV on. You got uh -huh. your connections there. Got your exit window. Yep. And then you have a little tiny dresser with four drawers. Very nice. And let's see what's in here. All right, I'm wondering. Oh. Snap. Oh. Prep for a stackable, stackable, stackable washer dryer. You see that? Very nice. Very nice. Nice closet and everything. Yeah, definitely. Closet. Yep. You can see this with the shelf. Uh huh. Very nice. It does lock into place, guys. Wow. Andrea, this is really one of my favorite bunkhouse fifth wheels. It is. I and really it's going to be this. hard for me to do what I'm about to do. But don't leave, guys, because the review's not over yet. It's now time that we give you three things we love about this fifth wheel and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what should we do first? Let's do three things we dislike about it. Perfect. Okay. That's going to be really hard. I don't know. Um, but Andrea is stomping on the floor. She's going to say the carpet to the bedroom. Mm -hmm. I'm going to agree, but add to that. What the heck's going on with that backsplash there? You know the what? Headboard? That really, I don't know. That doesn't bother me so much. I don't like it. It looks weird. It does, but you know, it's like padding, so. Yeah, but it, it's like the whole, it, it's like the whole wall. It's crazy. Yeah. I don't get it. I don't like <laughs> Let it. Let us know what you think about that, guys. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't know. So that's one, the carpet and the um, backboard. That's one thing I don't like he about it. He headboard. Whatever, headboard, backboard. That's one thing I don't like about this motorhome or a uh, fifth wheel two see this is really hard fifth wheels are tough because they're so big and they, they do offer you a lot of stuff um okay i'm gonna say two back here you ready yes i wish they put a bunk bed here that would flip up out of the way <gasps> good point you know what i'm saying yeah they definitely have the space for it yep i mean this bunk area can't sleep that many people. I like the way they did, but if they just would have added like a the happy top jack one at least, top, yeah, that, yep, that would have been good. So that's two. Do you have a dislike? Honestly, I do have a third go one. ahead. You go ahead. Okay, I'm I'm, I'm growing them. No big deal. Keystone, what are you thinking in here? No big deal, but I don't like this. Right? <laughs> if I'm too tall for a shower, that's a problem. Right? This is definitely a kid size bunk or a kid size shower. Again, no big deal. It's not the end of the world. And this is for the non paying customers, the children. But still, I mean, there's very few things I dislike about this. Uh, yeah, I agree. And that's just going to be it. Great. Now it's time for three things we love. Oh, I got another dislike. What? Just cause. Oh, yeah. Keep ducks on the floor. Ramp, ramp. It's all good. Now it's time for three things we love about this fifth wheel. Andre, do you want to go first? You can go first. Well, I don't, well, don't want to go Ooh, first. I'm holding the camera, so you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like that. I like that. All right. So the first thing I love about this fifth wheel, I love the long couch. I love the theater seats. I love the long couch. Um, personally, the way Andre and I like the camp, we don't need a table and chairs or a booth dinette in our camper because again, we always were eating outside or we're eating out. So we don't eat inside the fifth wheel. So that is one thing I absolutely love how it's just a long sofa. And that's I one. have my light. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna touch on the interiors of this. Mm -hmm. Okay, I love the way it looks. Look, I, I like that, that whatever, is that a picture or let me know guys what you think that is. But I just, I think this and the added look of the, the window kind of panel or window pane yeah. look and the light fixtures, yeah. 
the ceiling fan. I just like the way it looks in here and the backsplash as well. You know, the way right. it looks... Again, this isn't an Alpine. It's not exactly. the top of the line. Yes. But it, but you wouldn't know that if I didn't say it. Exactly. And also, let's touch on the balances. Like just the whole look. Well, I not just, only that, pull, like it. pull the shade down. Those are MCD shades. Oh. So that's very nice. nice. Yep. Great. So that's two. And then three is outside. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Third thing I like is going to be a combo. I love how they put the awning on the slide out here. Yes. I love this big, beautiful outside kitchen here. Also, I love the door in the back with access to the bathroom. So if you are camping and it does get muddy, you can just enter right through that way. And you can just throw your kids in the shower there. <laughs> yep, exactly. But that's it. That's the review. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, Andre, this one was really fun. It was. I yep. really enjoyed this one. Yep. If you guys have any questions about this fifth wheel, please call me, text me, send me an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or call my personal cell, 301-906-0962. Uh, and or check out my website, mattsrvreviews.com. Become a member of the RV Review crew and get your official Matt's RV Review sticker bing, there at our website. Andre, do you have anything you want to say to the good people? I do. Hey, good people. Let us know the three things that you like about this fifth wheel and your three dislikes. We're interested, interested to see what you have to say about it. We had a lot of fun doing it. Yep. And uh, I'm sure Keystone will be reading the comments. Yep. Other than that, you guys, I hope you, you are staying well and you're taking care. And yeah, just... You know, try not to go crazy like the rest of us. Yep. You know the best way to do some social distancing, Andrea? Yes. It's camping. Yes, absolutely. Thanks so much, Andrea. We'll, we'll see you next time. time.